I'm going to tell you the story of how I became the biggest TikTok star in the world. end of the story if you want the short version show me your soul maybe i'll show you mine 47 million views in 3 hours only on social media can a massive failure be your biggest success i was on top of the world but let's rewind a little honey i'll show you i'll show you mine You see, it all began back in 12th grade in my friend Dickie's basement. Ready to push? Wait. No, 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 Dickie, why? He's going in. You left me wide open. Get it, get it, get it. How many are watching? Oh, uh, uh, two. Um, no, they're gone again. <laughs> get your ugly face out of the lens. I gotta see. Huh? You're scaring them away. We thought we could make money live streaming, but too many 10 year olds were better than us. One time, someone donated five bucks out of pity. We almost gave up, but then... What are we dressing as for Halloween? I vote... Sexy Minions. Hmm? Jackson. You should go as young Logan Paul. That's Sid. She's always been one of the guys. Except when we dated in eighth grade. She's an idea girl, and this was by far her best. Turns out, people like watching Logan Paul suck at Guns of War. We made 65 big ones that night. We knew we were onto something. Sid's always been good at hyping me up, so she started managing my account. We even changed my name to Logan Paul. It was total clickbait, but we didn't care. People started watching and paying. That is, till we got taken down. Someone reported I wasn't the real Logan Paul. I mean, come on, we had 11 L's in it. What were you expecting? It didn't matter. By that time, we already used it to launch an empire. TikTok, Twitch, Twitter, Snap, Insta, even Facebook. Thanks to Sid, I was everywhere. All I had to do was look cool and the clicks kept coming. Soon, I had over 100,000 followers and Sid knew how to get us to a million. Tiny hands. Or at least she thought. What about them? They're gonna be big. <gasps> These? Yes, they're funny, okay? You just pretend you have tiny hands. You know what they say about guys with tiny hands, huh? Yeah, they have tiny little brains. <gasps> oh, okay. Nice shot. Come on, we have to try things. And we did. Sid turned on boss mode and we never looked back. I was her business experiment, her golden ticket, her get out of college free pass. She wanted this as bad as I did. We tried everything. We even tried putting my girlfriend in it. Why didn't you tag me? Did you want to be tagged? Oh my god, you don't get it. It's not that I wanted to be tagged, I just wanted you to be proud enough to tag me. I am, I was going to. We just didn't want to alienate his female fans. I wasn't talking to you. 
Hey, it's true. They find out he has a girlfriend they unfollow. Yeah. Well, maybe I should be the one who unfollows. Bye bye. She was pretty sensitive. Wait, Sam! I'm just breaking up with you. Okay, pretend you're heartbroken! Oh no. I'm not pretending! Come on, I'm sorry. I'll tag you in the next one. Maybe you should tag your skater girl instead. She's my manager. Give it up. He doesn't like you. Oh, uh, Karen, say what? What? <laughs> Post that! Manager. Sorry. Don't be. That was gold, dude. Huh? Karens are so hot right now. If we can save that footage. But we couldn't. Lesson learned. Careful filming people when they're emotional. Although, it worked pretty good on my parents. Which was part of another experiment. I'm worried about you. What about mom? Who are all these people watching you making videos in your bedroom? You see, I'd secretly record them. And then Sid would film me lip-syncing their voices in a skit. What happens if some crazy person comes to find you? You'll protect me. Why, right, Mom? Of course. You're still my baby. And you're still my mom. I just want to help you make smart decisions and be safe. My mom never knew what was going on. Truth is, I think she enjoyed these moments and actually thought I just wanted to talk. My dad, though... I paid my dues. Worked hard every day. And for what? Hmm? To see my son become some pretty boy who makes money for free? On the Tic Tac? It's called Tic Tac, Dad. I don't care what it's called. It's called La La Land. And you're living in it! And where's the money I gave you for a haircut? Huh? I got it cut. Just a twim. See? Are you tape recording me again? No. Uh, no? Give me that. No, no, just give me the phone. 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 So that trend wasn't bad. But once my dad caught on, the trust was broken, and we stopped having these heart-to-heart father-son moments. But no big deal. Sid still had ideas. You need to take your shirt off. Damn, Sid, can you at least buy him dinner first? Shut up. Look, Logan Paul got 18% higher views on Vine when he was shirtless. I thought we were done with Logan Paul. I'm not talking about Logan Paul. You were literally just talking about I, Logan Paul. I am, talk I am talking about views, clicks. Likes. Okay, let's think bigger. We could actually turn you into something. Yeah, but do I really just want to be some piece of meat? Meat is good, okay? <laughs> People pay a lot of money for meat. Have you seen how much a steak costs? Logan Paul is a steak. Yeah, J Jackson's more like a strip of bacon. <laughs> what? Well... You know what they say about bacon. What do they say? Tasty. <laughs> Come on. You knew this day was coming. And so began a new phase. Operation Six Pack. I felt like Rocky. Actually, I never saw those movies. But I'm pretty sure there's a workout party. Don't you wanna have We posted workouts every day, got fans excited to see the results. And after two exhausting months, I was finally ready. So what? Do I just do everything with my shirt off now? No, the first post has got to be an event. We tease it, we build it up, boom, big reveal. What if he loses his male demographic? Have you seen his male demographic? Fair point. What if you do one of those shots, you know, coming out of the water like girls in bikinis at a pool, you know? like. No, you need boobs for that. 
I got boobs. What if I, uh, if I was a wrestler and I just ripped my shirt off? You could be acting all shy, like you're getting a dress if I'm a girl that's watching you, you know? We got confetti poppers. I can emerge from an explosion. I got it. You, you know what trend where you stick your foot in your hood and you, you like try to you know, take it off? Like you're, you're trying to... Oh. Guys, if we want this to go viral, it's got to be hot. So, how hot are you thinking? Well, that depends. How hard are you willing to go? I decided, really hot. Sid was right. If I wanted to be a star, I had to be fearless. So here I was, seconds away from fame. I almost deleted it. Didn't want to embarrass myself, but Sid stole my phone and posted it. And that's how I became the biggest TikTok star in the world. For exactly three hours and 17 minutes. Then someone thought they saw my butt. Wait, where'd it go? Yeah, where did it go? Um, Wait, no, it, it, it's gone for me too. Refresh. Did you do something? No, why would I do something? I don't know. It's just gone, like I don't see it. Did I do something? Hold on, wait, let me just... Content violation? A video you posted was removed for violating our nudity policy. They took it down. No! There was nothing we could do. It was the most helpless feeling ever. Like someone walked away with all our money and we couldn't call the cops. It took us two days to finally talk to someone at TikTok. We tried telling them there was no actual nudity. That was not his butt. It was the shower curtain. No one's butt could possibly be that white. But it didn't work. And so, there we were. A taste of glory. Washed away like a sandcastle by the tide. We reposted it and blurred out my butt. But the algorithm didn't catch on the same. I don't think anybody understands how that works. It took a few days to accept it was gone. But also to realize there was something left behind. 700,000 followers. It's not like you're starting over. If it was anyone else, they'd be partying. Yeah. You still want to do this? Do you? You think we can make it? Uh, hi, uh, excuse me? Um, are you that guy from that shower video on TikTok? Yeah. Um, that was so funny, so funny. <laughs> I, and it was really cute, too. yeah. Thanks. Do something. What? They're fans. And? Ugh. Do you guys want to take a picture? Sure. Yeah. All right, give me the phone. <laughs> Are you his girlfriend? Uh, no, I'm actually his manager. He is single. Oh. Really? So am I. <laughs> nice, nice. If you don't take notice and come around If you walk right past me One more time like you don't see What's yours for the taking tonight? So, maybe it wasn't so bad it got taken down after all. I mean, skyrocketing to fame is cool and all. But maybe a slow journey's not bad either. Who knows? There might be a lot of cool stuff to see along the way. Dude. Yo, Jackson Bates, the shower guy, the legend himself. That video was insane. It's Bryce Hall. I'd love to uh, collab with you. So hit me up if, if you're down.
show. And honey, I'll show you my. Did you kiss her? Just a little bit. I told you not to do that. It was only on the cheek. Are you lying again? No, I promise. Just her cheek. Just the cheek. The bum cheek. <laughs> <laughs> Literally the stupidest trend. But everyone's doing it. What's it at? One point five million. Well, it's that crazy laugh. It's like a, a baby Dr. Doofenshmirtz. <laughs> no, it's not. It's the story. The story? Yes. Okay, we sympathize with little boy. He is defending himself against the evil woman. Then, plot twist, he's a cheater. People love that. Or maybe they just ship me in Posey. We are cute together. I mean, someday. In your dreams. <sighs> what? He still hasn't replied. Who, Bress Hall? Yeah, he's left me on scene. Probably realized the shower video got taken down. Or maybe that new girl he's dating isn't letting him do it. She's uh, pretty controlling. You seen her? Everyone's seen her. She's everywhere. Why is he even with her? What if they're faking it? Might not be legit. I'm just happy I don't have that kind of girl drama. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Although. Although? Girl drama's underrated. Okay. I mean, seriously, Bryce is gaining followers from this. These posts are working for him. Could be random. Yeah, I mean, you put a pretty girl in front of anything. Okay, sure, yes. But she's in a lot of posts, okay? And when she's just there being pretty, they do fine. But when he's confronting her about her cheating, boom. So, what are you saying? I'm saying, maybe it's time for a little girl drama. Yeah! So, after skyrocketing the fame and crashing back to Earth, I realized only one thing could save me. A new outlook. And so, I adopted a new motto. The journey is more important than the destination. After all, I don't know where this road's taking me, but I'm gonna have fun getting there. A fake girlfriend. Yeah, why not? That's messed up. If Dicky can have an imaginary girlfriend, you can have a fake one. Hey, Daphne was loyal. And had very soft lips. How am I gonna find a real girlfriend if I have a fake one? It's only temporary. Plus, we get bonus content while you search for your real one. I click. Hmm. <laughs> why don't you be my fake girlfriend? I don't go on camera. Besides, I already was your fake girlfriend in middle school. That was not fake! You seemed kind of fake. I was 13. I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah, like you needed instructions to hold my hand when we walked home instead of riding your bike two blocks ahead of me? <laughs> we had sex ed class that day. It was about consent. I didn't know how far to go. I'm pretty sure that walking your bike beside me wouldn't be considered a sex crime. This is actually very entertaining. See? Girl. Drama. When Sid knew what she wanted, there was no stopping yeah. her. <laughs> Truth is, talking to girls made me nervous. But if this plan was going to succeed, I have to push past my fears. Look, it's going to be easy, okay? I, I don't know. I'm supposed to walk up to some random girls and ask for their number? Everyone's doing it. It's a trend. Yeah, but these are college girls. They're smart. Okay, college girls aren't smart. They're busy. Classes, exams, they don't have time to meet people. That's it. They'll be glad you're cutting to the chase. There's this guy on his channel. He just walks up to random college girls and takes a picture with them. Says he wants to remember the first moment they met. Gets her number every day. How does someone get away with that? Because people are lonely and dying for human contact with really good looking people, of which you are one. They'll think it's creepy. Creepy doesn't count if you're hot. Okay, just keep it light and funny and girls will find you charming. Here, use these cheesy pickup lines. If you were a vegetable, you'd be a cute cumber. That was mine. Okay, you don't have to use all of them. Oh, and don't bring up the fake girlfriend thing until later. They'll get freaked out. Here, try one on Dick. Go ahead. I'll imagine you're Billie Eilish. Mm. All right. Okay. <sighs> okay. Excuse me, miss? Do you have a map? I'm absolutely lost in those eyes. Ooh, baby. It's like the world. Oh, that's just room Billy. I was for me. Okay, never mind. Bad example. Look, these girls, they need you, okay? They are damsels in distress, and you are a freaking superhero. Okay, then what's my superpower? Hotness. Oh, yeah. All right? <laughs> yeah. Super hot. You are 
handsome man and and you <laughs> melt hearts with your eyes and and you flip your hair and girls are like they go crazy for it just, just flip your hair and yeah do, seriously do it okay cucumber i didn't hate that excuse me go again just go again hey uh yeah um can you help me with something sure I think I lost my phone. Can you try calling it? Oh, uh, sure. What's your number? Uh, What's he saying? Oh my god, he's so smooth. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I think it's vibrating on. What? There's no way. <laughs> I had it on me the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I nearly had a heart attack. No problem. And now that I got your number... Oh my god, this is actually working. There was nothing stopping this man. Except the truth. Oh no, what happened? Did he just... He just asked her to be his fake girlfriend. Are you filming this? Um... Well, what's she doing? I think she's having a moment of self-worth. How dare she? Sid's ideas didn't always hit, and sometimes she took it personally. But she kept us moving forward. That's the important thing. We actually did get a lot of content out of this day, mostly because everyone loves a good fail. But the main goal of finding a fake girlfriend wasn't so easy. Eventually, Sid decided preserving my self-confidence was more important than another post, so... Okay, whatever. I'm mad enough to admit it was a bad idea. No, it's not your fault. I just didn't win him over. Maybe I shouldn't have included that Dungeons and Dragons pickup line. I mean, what was I thinking? No one's gonna go for that, unless we're lying to them. But no one in their right mind would want to do something so humiliating and degrading Excuse me! As... Excuse me! <sighs> Someone told me you're looking for a fake girlfriend? Uh... Yeah? Is that still open? Well, we're not really doing that anymore, so... No, no, I can do it. I'm in the theater department. I can be whatever kind of girlfriend you guys want. Do you want a girlfriend who's like, like... A sweet country girl next door. I can do that. Or if you want a girlfriend who's like, totally crazy. I've been there, done that. Or if you want a girlfriend who's like, like, like really clingy and constantly in need of attention. I could do that too. I could be whatever girlfriend you guys want. Okay, you seem quite keen. No, I'm super keen. I'm independent, but I'm a team player. I can follow orders, but think on my own. I've done Shakespeare, improv, mime, musical theater, sing, dance, yodel, you name it. You know, this isn't for TV or anything. Just social media. An opportunity to perform is all I ask. Okay. Will you do it for free? Deal. I won't let you down. Don't you wanna have some fun? <laughs> hey guys, wanna be my new girlfriend? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Come on, say hi. She's a little camera shy. Come on. Oh, you stop. <laughs> Oops. He's all mine, girls. Perfect. Are you sure? Because if you want, I can give you more Corella development. No, 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 no. We don't want them to hate you yet. All right? Just a seed of jealousy. I have a master plan. And so it began. We created a series of girlfriend posts. Sid had this theory that if my fans knew my girlfriend was wrong for me, it would make them jealous and want to save me. That would generate extra comments, which would in turn trigger the algorithm and thereby make the post more popular. Wake At least that's how she put it. I was just trying to have fun. Skylar was great, down for anything we threw at her. She even added ideas of her own. It was a real collaboration. She can't love you like I can. 
He's hurting on the inside. Jackson, I'm here for you. Oh my god, they're actually falling for this. She's a super villain. A Catwoman to Jackson's Batman, explaining his feelings for her. Oh my god, what comic book nerd said that one? Oh, uh, that was me. I was just making an analogy. And the truth is, the more we made the fans hate her, the more I actually started to like her. I think I'm gonna be a crazy ex-girlfriend next time. You can do psycho? Big emotions are my forte. It's because I'm a Pisces sun in a Cancer moon. Okay, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> okay, do that again. Do what again? With your, with your hair, you were like, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Why do that? Yes, you did, yeah. You did it exactly <laughs> like that. Okay, no, no, no. This is you imitating me, right? You're like, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I did not do it like that. I did not have a country accent. Okay, this is you imitating me imitating you. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is you imitating me, of me imitating you, of you imitating me. Are you ready? Ready? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> we spent days creating a fake relationship, but something about it felt totally real. It was so easy to be myself around her. After a week, Sid had one final post planned, and I wasn't looking forward to it. Hey guys, time to break up. So, the theme is how it started, how it ended, all right? So we open on you two in love. Then we take you out, add some rain, tragic music, Jackson left alone crying. Wait, I have to cry? It's okay. Hey, I got WrestleMania 29 queued up, you know when The Rock and John Cena were hugging. Can't we make this last a little longer? Nope. Okay. Why not? Because it's a story, and a story needs an ending. Does it have to end like this? I mean, what if we change it and make her cool like she really is? Well, the story's already written, and we just need to film it. But, but what if we change it? Jackson! Look, if you were making the Harry Potter movies, would you all of a sudden make Voldemort a super cool dude and then just make a bunch of sequels? It's actually not a bad idea. We just have to put a button on this. And it's gotta be dramatic. I couldn't argue with Sid. She was right. The plan was working. Views were up. The time was now. Still, with Skylar, the lines had gotten so blurry, it was hard to tell the difference between reality and fiction. And cut. Wow. Jackson, good job. Yeah, I didn't even need the WrestleMania hugging scene. Skylar. Oh, hey. Hey, I just wanted to say... Uh, you were really good. Oh, thanks. Yeah, you too. It's actually like a really fun acting challenge. Who would have thought? Yeah, and you killed it. Um, well, hey, listen. Yeah? Uh, this might sound weird. No, it's okay, you can say it. Well, I really enjoyed, like, fake dating you. I was wondering if you wanted to try it for real. Oh. Is that a good O or a bad O? No, it's just, um, I have a boyfriend. Oh. Yeah, that O. Oh, I'm actually on FaceTime with him right now. Oh. Hey, I missed that. Are you still there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here with Jackson. Jackson, this is Luca. <laughs> Jackson Bates. Hey man, I'm a fan. Thanks for giving Skylar this opportunity. She's been telling me all about it. Yeah, no problem. She's been amazing. Can't wait to see it. It's gonna be good. Just uh, make sure to subscribe. Yeah, bro, I'll smash that like button. Sometimes, social media feels a lot like pro wrestling. We're all putting on a show. And yeah, everyone knows it's fake. 
but you ever seen a wrestler get body slammed from the top rope straight onto his back? I bet that still hurts. It's funny. I just don't like the way you edited it. it. Looks like you're beating the crap out of me. We can re-edit. We can re-edit. I love collabing, but I can't lose the tortilla challenge with someone that's got less than a million followers. We can re-edit and make you look better. Nah, you know what? Me and Piper did this like two months ago. It's it's not even trending anymore. We could do something different? Like what? Put a finger down, lame TikTok edition? Look, my cereal's getting soggy. I'm out, bro, okay? Hit me up when you got something better. All right. Hey, before we talk to Gavin Magnus, there's something very important we need to consider. Like, what if he doesn't like the tortilla challenge anymore? What? What happened? What did you do? He backed out. For now, he might still collab. I told you to wait. I couldn't. He DM'd me. I have to respond. He's almost got six million followers now. Oh my god. We need some good news. What about this? Check it out. A hat? Yeah, I sold the patch on myself. I gotta make them all. For Jackson? Yeah, Jackson Bates. Clip bait. Yeah. <sighs> Jackson is not clickbait. And even if he were clickbait, we wouldn't advertise it by putting it on a hat. It's meant to be ironic, <laughs> right? Yeah, like if you name your restaurant Barf Bag. <laughs> No one would ever name their restaurant Barf Bag. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I like it. And Dickie sewed it on himself. How many people can say that? I'm proud of him. Thank you. My fingers are bleeding. Fine. Whatever. So are my eyes. Why? Because I just read all 897 comments on last week's thirst trap. And? And now it's your turn. So this is what we're filming today. The cringe is real. Hey guys, last week over two million of you watched the new post. I guess you could say it was pretty tasty. You all know what time it is. Snack time. Now some of you guys found it not so tasty. So today's video is all about reading mean comments. Disclaimer, I have not read these yet, but you know what? Haters got nothing on me. So, let's go. Starting off, Jess B. She writes, what's up with that messy fridge? <laughs> I mean, damn, Jess, gotta come after my mom like that? I mean, honestly, you're, you're not wrong though. There's a lasagna in there that's been there for like two months. It's starting to grow stuff and my mom won't let me clean it out. Pennymelon22 says, this boy is so white, he whiter than the milk. <laughs> I don't really know what to say about that. It is, it's pretty accurate, honestly. But it also hasn't been summer for like three months, so I don't know what you're expecting here. I mean, we could get like a self-tanner promo or just adjust the camera and change the saturation. All right, we've got Jen I'm 12. She says, dude, you're not even sexy. What? I, I mean, I get it. You're not into skinny white boys, that's fine. But Jen I'm 12 knows what sexy means. Where are your parents? Cassidy19 says, you suck. Okay, I, I suck. <laughs> Tam Tam says, get this off my For You page. You know, we're on the For You page, it's kind of a flex. Pass the bleach, okay, all right. I just filled up a bucket of barf. Ugly. 
Make it stop. You're so fake. Thanks, Jade Dukler from Indiana for that one. Fake. Am I? Is that all I am? Just fake? What do you want? How can I make it real for you? Can I, should I get in a real fridge? You know, I'm, I'm just trying to entertain. I'm just trying to have fun. You want more? You want pain? Would that make it real for you? But I'm, I'm, I'm fake, huh? It's all, it's all you see. Hey, Jackson, it's okay. This is me. I'm Jackson Bates. This is me. Sorry, did I wreck the table? Honestly, man, it was already broken. One of the legs was, um, they're just idiots, okay? People will say anything on the internet, doesn't mean they mean it. What if they're telling the truth? They just want attention. Yeah, well, they got it. Hey, could be worse. Remember the comments I got when I tried to be a rapper? You weren't bad. You just need a new name. I was nine. For the record, I was the original old Dickie, okay? What? Jackson, you're the coolest. Okay. You give me butterflies and I don't know what to do with them. I want to kiss you so bad. I'm triggered by your lips. I want to rip your shirt off, pin you down, and make you mine. I'll kill any girl who tries to talk to you. I want you to be my boyfriend, Jackson Bates. Should I leave you two alone? No, please don't. Fire emoji, fire emoji, heart, fire emoji. I thought we were just friends. We are, you idiot. <clears throat> okay, those were the good comments. All of them were like that, except for those haters you read. In fact, two of them I made up. They all love you, it's gross. So stop being a baby, all right? You have 886 Gaga fans and 11 haters. Who are you gonna believe? The fans. No. The haters? Wrong. Ignore them all. They're meaningless. You're not ugly. You're not a god. You're Jackson. So don't let some randos who don't even know you control your self-worth. Just live your freaking life and be yourself. So you don't wanna kiss me? Are you gonna cry again? No. It's just, I don't deserve you guys. You're the best friends a guy could ask for. I mean, who else has someone that can pick them up when they're feeling down like that? Hey, that's what friends are for, right? But for real, it's like we're blood brothers. Ride or die, stick it out to the end. I just posted your meltdown. What the heck, Sid? Okay, for the record, I did it as your manager, not your friend. Okay, then as my friend, delete it. No. Fine, I will. Uh, no, you won't. Sid. Jackson. Jackson! Jackson, you do this, I walk. This has nothing to do with friendship. What's more important? <laughs> I have put too much time into you for you not to listen to me on this. We're trying to build your brand. These types of fails work. They're entertainment. It's too raw. I'm practically crying in it. So what? That's the price you pay for fame. Dickie, 
Well, I can see both of you have valid points. If, if, if you just don't... Mickey, stay out of this. Oh, Mommy and Daddy are fighting. Jackson, it's just like the shower video. It's cringy, it's embarrassing, and people are gonna love it. I promise you, it's going to be huge. Okay, so it's not gonna be huge, huge. It's my worst performing post. Maybe it got flagged? Yeah, for making people sad. I'd report that. It's too soon to judge. It needs time. The algorithm needs to kick in. Or at least acknowledge its existence. Dude, if nobody sees this, I'll be happy. Look, we're waiting till tomorrow, okay? No one delete it. Okay, fine. Delete it. Time to move on. Thank you. Uh, it's not deleting. I don't know what's happening. I'll do it. Dickie, there's no Wi-Fi. Oh, yeah, it's connected, but there's no signal. Uh, might be the router. Hang on. No wonder we can't see any views. Sometimes it just needs a little... Okay, yeah, now it's... Whoa! We are not deleting this. What's going on? 500,000. What happened? Something triggered it. <laughs> Whoa, it's growing so fast. Great. I'm not reading the comments. There's a lot of them. We're not reading the comments. Nobody read the comments. Uh, guys, I think you better read the comments. Why? What is it? No, don't tell me. Okay, okay, just tell me. Is it good? Is it bad? Do they hate me? They like my hat. What? There's so many. Where can I get that hat? Cool cap? Is the hat for sale? Hook a brother up with one of those hats, yo? I need a cap and that's no cap. They don't care about me? Who came here from Beaver Buzz? Beaver Buzz? How come no one cares about my feelings? They shared it. Holy freak. Beaver Buzz shared our video. I poured my heart out. This is me. <laughs> Dickie, where did you get that clickbait patch? Uh, well, the fabric store at the mall just has this thing. I just sent them my design. I nearly cried. How much was it? The, the hats are eight, uh, the patches are 11, but if you buy 10 or more, it's only five. I bared my soul. What if we buy a hundred? A hundred? Dickie, you finally did something. We're gonna sell my hats. And all they care about is the hat. We're gonna start a march line. You need to have a signature on this one. Did they pay the autograph fee? Yep, and she wants it personalized. What's her name? Jade. What's Don't Jade's last name? Uh, Dukler. From Indiana? Yep. Oh my god, okay. you're, you're on TikTok, right? You, I love your stuff, you have no idea. I am such a huge fan. You're, you're, you're Josh Richards, right? Oh, uh, I'm Jackson Bates. Oh, uh, who? Oh, I'm Jackson Bates. Hey guys, I'm Jackson Bates. <laughs> And it was like I finally achieved something in front of this big crowd telling everyone who I was and they all hated me. Well, what were you doing on stage? Nothing. I was wearing a suit. Like, what is that? I never wear a suit. Well, maybe they hated on you because you weren't being your authentic self. Or the universe is telling me that I won't succeed. You know, I wouldn't read too much into it. It's pretty common what you're going through, actually. You know, doubting yourself, worried you'll be exposed as a fraud. It's called imposter syndrome. 
Yeah. It happens to a lot of people. Even happened to me once. You. Yeah. When I was in kindergarten, I always wanted to be Troy Bolton from High School Musical. Trust like him every day. But on Halloween, my mom wouldn't let me be Troy Bolton because my sister wanted to be Troy Bolton. And then I have this dream where I was a girl Troy Bolton arguing with Zac Efron who said he was Troy Bolton. Only way to decide was a game of one on one. Did you win? No, it wasn't a fair game. Because you were a girl? No, because I was distracted by Miss Darbus dressed as a cheerleader. So who'd you go as? George Jonas from Camp Rock. My point is, your crisis of confidence won't last forever. Screw your crisis of confidence. It doesn't matter if you believe in yourself. Not today. Because? Because these people believe in you. Who? The ad agency that reps Beaver Buzz also reps other brands. What? They sent us free stuff. All we gotta do is make some posts. You're welcome. You got us a brand deal. Sid, I could kiss you. I know, but you won't because I'll punch you. What are the brands? Our first sponsor is... Jam Nation! You all know it and love it. They make the coolest hoodies, and I'm so proud to have them as a sponsor. They just sent their latest and greatest design from the Little Swaggy Collection. Let's get this going. <laughs> oh, damn. Sick. And I'm loving the fashion. Oh my god. God, check this out. It's so soft. It's like girlfriend bait. I'm trying this on right now. What size is it? Uh, uh, well, it's a promo sample, so it might not have a tag. Hang on. I'm guessing extra small? No, no, look, it's supposed to fit tight. This tight? Yeah, it's meant to show off your body. Mission accomplished. Look, it is a slim fit, cropped hoodie. Really slim, really cropped. <laughs> this is our first promo. We got this for free. Let's make the best of it, okay? It'll lead to bigger and better things. For now, I'll just take it. Bigger. Here we go. Advertiser brief. This is what they want, okay? Capture the Lil Swaggy vibe in a series of fashion stills. Here, Diggy, start shooting. Yes, ma'am. Oh, vibe keywords. All right, we have vibe keywords. You ready? I'm gonna call these out. You capture the vibe. How's my hair? Uh, confident. Oh, thanks. No, that's the keyword. Confident. Oh. Okay. Yeah, nice. Casual, smart, but sexy. Oh, but not too sexy. All right, let's keep going. Diversity, yeah. Open-minded, awesome. And Gen Z, oh, but with a twist. Don't move. Oh, God. Why? This is my fault. Oh, oh, God. Oh, what? There is a tag. Jackson. Child small. You know what? It's okay. That's okay. There are other brands. Like what? Like, uh, like, like. New dill pickle bubble nuts. You guys have to try these. A fusion of bubble tea pearls with corn nuts together at last. Now, the zesty dill pickle zing. And pop it. Sensational over the top satisfaction. Mmm. Mmm. Bubble nuts. Yes, nailed it. Oh, <sighs> uh, what the hell is that? Suck it up, okay? We're not done. I kind of like them. So all you have to do is say the catchphrase and then shake your head to start the transition. Okay. Oh, but make it look good. It feel good in my mouth. It's only for a minute. These are like Martian Cheetos. Okay, and rolling and catchphrase. Double your bubble nuts. Okay, good. And one more. Double your bubble nuts. All right, and one more time, a little different. Double your bubble nuts. 
Okay, good. And hold, and we're gonna fill the other cheek. Oh, oh, it's in my palm. Okay, stop being a baby. If they like it, they'll share it, and you'll gain followers. Oh, Ooh, and maybe they'll send us more. No, uh. -huh. And shake. No, no, but we're not. No, you're not saying the catchphrase. You're coming out of the transition. Just sensational, over the top satisfaction. It tastes bad. Breathe through your nose. I'm touching my tongue. Okay, Jackson, you can do it. Okay, just shake your head and look satisfied. Okay, and shake. Good and satisfied. And hold. Five. Four. Three, two. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> oh. Baby, you're the love of my life. We could be together forever. Just you and me. But you just don't have enough followers. Come back. Come, come back. Come back. <sighs> Isn't it weird that random influencers keep popping up in my dreams? I guess. Like, what's this one supposed to mean? That I'll never find love? All she cared about was how many followers you had. That's not love. This is the problem. If I become famous, I'll never know if someone wants the real me. Well, maybe that's telling you. You need to find a girlfriend before you get famous. <laughs> Who's that gonna be? Jackson. Do you want to go on a date? Uh, for real? Yeah, seriously, I've got it all planned. Where? What? With you? What? No, not with me. Look. What is this? Meditate. Meditate? Not meditate. Meditate. It's a virtual reality dating app. They want you to promote it. Do I need to unbox it? No, you need to go on a date. A real date? No, a virtual one. For your first sponsorship, you're going on a date in the meta. Whoa. Pew pew. Okay, so the way it works is the goggles let you see the world, the controllers let you interact with it, and there is a built-in microphone for talking. This motion sensor lets you move without actually moving, so stay where you are. It uh, looks expensive. It is, okay, so be very careful. You only get to keep it if you go on a successful date. Who am I dating? You don't know, you have to meet people. Real people? Real virtual people, just like you, wearing goggles in other parts of the world. Okay. So first you'll appear as an avatar, which I already set up. You'll arrive in a coffee shop, then you'll level up to a dance club, and then romantic walk on the beach. What happens after the walk on the beach? Oh, um, well, they'll share it. And you'll gain followers. <laughs> so. Right. Let's do this. Whoa! Damn, Sid, you made me hot. Is this how you see me? I'm like, I'm like a cat. <laughs> yeah, you're a cat. Everyone's a cat. How can you tell who's a guy and a girl? Okay, it, it says there's an info button on each avatar you can access oh. by clicking. Meow. Uh, okay, that one has a beard. Or if they have a beard. All good. <laughs> okay, what do you see? Everything's blue. Uh, you need to find a red zone. What's that? Yeah, the color shows how compatible you are with those around you. Oh, like hot and cold. It's based off your profile info. So pink, red means you're compatible. Blue, green, yellow. I don't see a lot of red. Do you see a lot of beards? Well, now that you mention it, am I in the right part of the cafe? <laughs> oh wait, I, I see something. <laughs> Jackson, stay in one spot. Right, <laughs> sorry. Okay, yeah, starting to get purple. Yeah, no, it's pink. And that is red, meow. I think I found myself a match. Uh, what do I do? Well, if you like her, you double tap, and if she taps back, you uh, level up. <laughs> She's not tapping back. Yeah, well, you can't just stand there. Did do some moves. Yeah, moves. Okay, right. Um. <laughs> oh, 
talk. I'm gonna get an angle. Is it working? <clears throat> Tap the microphone to talk. Uh, uh, hi. Oh, hey. I'm Jackson. Hi, April. I, I like your... Uh, your whiskers. No way, me too. I love Italian food too. Yeah. Wow. Cool, we, we have so much in common. This is actually so cool. She's really nice. Um, there's music. Well, she tapped. You're in a club now. What do I do? Dance. What color is it? Like mint green. Just dance. That builds the connection and changes the color. You have to get it to red. Is it working? Uh, it, it's yellow. <laughs> like, like mustard. Like a spicy mustard or? Wait, that doesn't matter. Okay, just keep dancing. You have to get to the beach. Oh no, it's country music. <laughs> Somebody help me? <laughs> I'm stuck in a line dance. Uh, uh, I tap the music now. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is good. I'm feeling orange vibes now. Yes, nice. Getting pink? Ooh. We're getting red. Oh. Oh, it's definitely red. It's red, baby. <laughs> uh. What? What are you doing? Keep dancing. It's frozen. What? My hands are moving, but my body's not. That must be the motion sensor. I'll check it. It's getting orange. Dickie, hurry up. I'm trying. He's twerking in my face. It's yellow. Dickie! I think it's the Bluetooth. Oh, it's working. <laughs> oh. 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 Ow. I don't think we're going to the beach. Hey, Jackson. Jackson. Wake up. Wake up. No, don't actually wake up. Just wake up in the dream. What's going on? It's McJake. Remember me? Oh, yeah. I follow you. You do those pranks. I do more than just pranks, dude. Come on. Challenges, comedy, financial advice. What are you doing in my dream? I want to try something new. Inspirational videos. I mean, I do everything else, right? Sure, I guess. So I figured since you're so sad or whatever, you'd want to help me out and I could try it on you. I don't know if I can help anyone right now. I feel like a failure. Well, if your failure helps me make a viral video, then that's a good thing, right? I guess. Will you tag me? Only if you want the whole world to see what a failure you are. Uh, never mind. Listen, if you ain't failing, you ain't trying. But from what I can see, you're trying pretty hard. Thanks. Let me tell you something my grandpa always told me. Come in here closer so I can see you. No, that's what he would say. He was practically blind. But when I get in closer, I'll never forget it. He would say, in a world that always wants you to be something else, the greatest accomplishment is to be yourself. Wow, that's heavy. Your grandpa said that? Yeah, man, good old Gramps. Because it looks like you're reading that off your phone. Okay, whatever, dude. I found it online, okay? I'm, I'm new at this whole inspirational thing. Well, don't give up. Yeah, that's right. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up? Yeah. That's what he said. Actually, I said it, but he thought it. Well, it was your dream, so technically it was all you. Yeah, I guess that's true. Well, you know what? The influences in your dreams are getting more popular, so that's a good sign. I'll take whatever good sign I can get. They pulled out. What, the ad agency? Yeah. They didn't like any of the footage that we sent them. They're not sending any more stuff. So what now? Screw them. We move on. Hey, what if we send them something? Send what? To who? A post. To a brand I actually like. You want to make a promo video without being sponsored? Yeah. Why not? For something I actually believe in. Is that against the rules? Check your rule book and... Oh, hey, look. There's no rules. So what's something you believe in? Mm -hmm.